I'm Alex Glow with Hackster, and I'm excited to share this interview that we just did with Dan of Awesome.Tech. Along with his colleague Paul, they've just released the gerbil mod for the K40 laser on Kickstarter, which allows you to mod this laser for a much better quality cuts and engravings. Dan himself, with his daughter, developed the Personal Particle Accelerator, which debuted at Bay Area Maker Fair this year and will soon be on Kickstarter as well. Check it out! You started Awesome.Tech and you created this Personal Particle Accelerator. Can you tell me a bit about that process? Yeah, that's right. So um, shall I give you the backstory of the mm. Particle Accelerator? Because it's just such a nutty thing to do. Fabulous. So, um, <laughs> so um, it, it all happened. My uh, daughter, who was in year seven at um, high school at the time, uh, came home from school and she said, Oh, Dad, I've got to make a... Um, uh, project of something scientific, like a model. And I went, okay, great. <laughs> what, 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 what do you want to do? And so, um, she goes, Dad, nope. you know, the Large Hadron Collider? <laughs> I'm going, yeah. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself, oh, you know, paper mache, you know, we'll, uh, we'll take care of this. And, um, you know, then she said, oh, we get extra marks if it works. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm wondering if the teacher like thought she was joking or like, but you were so, like, no, you're gonna do it. Yeah, so I just thought to myself, oh look, um, you know, shoot for the stars, kiddo, you know, take <laughs> it on as a, as a pers personal challenge, dad. And um, you know, we spent six months, you know, every Wednesday night, um, every Saturday day, and you know, I was relearning my electrical engineering, and she was learning it for the first time. And, you know, we were experimenting with electromagnets, working out how to program the Arduino, and we just had such a great time. Uh, it was awesome to be able to spend time, you know, with your daughter and work on something interesting. And um, handed it in at school, teacher went crazy. It's like, wow, great. <laughs> and, um, and so, uh, and then the teacher wanted to buy it. And I said to my daughter, look, there's not many times in life when, someone wants to buy something that you weren't intending to sell. Uh -huh. It's hard enough to sell stuff when, <laughs> when you are intending to sell it. And so I said, look, let's let's share this with the world. And um, so step one was uh, go to Maker Fair. Well, actually, step one was me spending three years um, perfecting the product. Uh -huh. <laughs> so there's been a lot of engineering in that, and I'll tell you about that. Mm. Um, step two was going to the Maker Fair. And um, you know, getting some feedback and just really enjoying the experience of meeting fellow makers. Yeah, so we had a Bay Area Maker Fair. Was that your first Maker Fair? Uh, so I, I'd attended a Maker Fair as a as a visitor um, here in Sydney, um, and but you know, the Sydney scene's obviously a lot smaller. And so um, you know, while I did make some good contacts and really enjoyed the Sydney Maker Fair, um, you know what it's like. I mean, uh, the the show in San Francisco was just such a large scale that it was very exciting. It's hard to match. So you said, it <laughs> yeah. seemed like there was a step three at least. What's going on? Yeah, and, and then, of course, the step three is the uh, is the upcoming um, uh, Kickstarter. So um, what I've done in terms of preparing for that is uh, I, I did a course here in Sydney, which is uh, called uh, Kickstarter Academy. Mm. And uh, that was just like a uh, six-month course, like one night a week, you know, just to really meet people who have run successful Kickstarter events and to, you know, soak up their wisdom and just understand all about the, you know, the marketing and really thinking through the product and who wants it. So, um, you know, I've, I've found that a really helpful process. Awesome. Uh, when are you looking to launch? Oh, look, oh, I haven't got a date yet, but um, uh, ASAP. Mm. <laughs> so, um uh, let's see, I've just got this um, continuous uh, mental list that's just flying by of all the things I need to do. But um, I've engaged the uh, video folks. So I've got a really Ooh. good team to make the Kickstarter video, which is exciting because obviously that's the, the bit that grabs people's attention. Mm -hmm. And so um, they are, they, they've, you know, written a script and I've, I like the script and I'm just well down the path of that. So... Sorry, I haven't got a date for you yet, but uh, I guess what I can say is definitely the best thing to do is to um, go along to um, awesome.tech mm -hmm. and um, there's plenty of places on the website to sign up for, um, you know, being in the loop and being the first to notified, be notified of the um, awesome.tech uh, 
um, Kickstarter and uh, that way, you know, you'll be first to find out and um, I can hint that there will be some good deals for, um, you know, the first people to sign up to the actual Kickstarter. So uh, definitely worth um, getting your name down on the website. Excellent. And again, that's awesome.tech. And there's also some backstory on the project itself, right? And some cool pictures of what you've got going on. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. I, I, um, I'm not being shy. I'm uh, you know, putting videos of the particle accelerator and um, you know, all the photos of the fun at the Maker Fair. Um, so there's some cool videos because um, you know, over the years, I've got a few feedback about how to make this product look amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things I spent a lot of time on, and I'm really glad I put in the effort, was to work out how to um, coat the ball because it oh. accelerates a ball bearing, right. coat the ball in, in glow paint. Uh, cool. Okay, yeah. So when you um, shine the UV light on it and it's accelerating around, you get this sort of glowing oh, orb yeah. of energy. It just looks amazing. So um, there's a video of that on the website. So, uh, yeah, check it out. <laughs> cool. So is this the world's smallest particle accelerate accelerator? Oh, well, I think uh, I'd have to be careful making that <laughs> claim. I'm sure, I'm sure there's... Um, I'm sure there's uh, uh, probably depends on your definition of a particle accelerator, but I, I think it's the world's funnest and most accessible particle accelerator because it is desktop. Huh? Yeah, it is desktop size and it is 12 volts, so it's um, safe. Uh, doesn't emit radiation of the um, of the uh, unsafe kind, and um, yeah, it's, it's made for makers and experimenters. So um, you know, you can 3D print the parts. Um, yeah, I mean that's kind of the angle that I, I want to get into. It's it's very easy to get into, and um, uh, turns out to be quite sort of sophisticated in terms of all the optimization you can do with the mm -hmm. Arduino code. And um, I'm really looking forward to sort of a community um, building up around it and actually um, all collaborating on how to like improve the dynamics and actually learn more about Arduino and physics and so forth. Uh -huh. um, through this experiment. So yeah, optimistic, that's how it goes. So for the sort of business side of things and marketing and stuff, you did this Kickstarter Academy, but for the physics side, mm -hmm. it sounds like you have some experience as an engineer or a physicist. Can you tell about that? Yeah, so um, look, I've I, I always been um, mad keen on uh, physics and electrical engineering. Um, I was um, probably like many of us, you know, taking apart uh, things as a 10 year old, 12 year old, um, quite often not getting them put back together again. I don't actually. always ask that. Like, are you going to put that back together? <laughs> yeah. I just cut all the wires. Well, well no, no. I mean, it, it's not that I didn't want to. It's just, you know, I, 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 um, <laughs> I remember there was a teacher at school whose computer stopped working and I said, oh, you know, don't worry, I'll, I'll take care uh -oh. of it. And so I could actually fix it, but embarrassingly, I couldn't get the case back together because oh, no. just all these little plastic um uh, things that didn't fit in so yeah. i sort of had to hand it back all these parts it was like oh embarrassing oh yeah but um <laughs> um yeah so look I've, i was always into that and um you know i just definitely wanted to do electrical engineering at at university so so i did that and um uh with a focus on instrumentation and control so sort of you know robotics and um uh you know electronics mm -hmm. and um did my uh, thesis in uh, face recognition, so basically really? writing the code for the for the neural networks to sort of recognise the, the different faces. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so I just enjoyed statistics, all that sort of thing. And um, the problem then is that I got a job in the corporate sector, and um, you know that had its own uh, interests and challenges, and and so forth. And certainly some lots of great skills I picked up, mm -hmm. but um, sort of took me away from the engineering that I really inspired me uh, as a as a teenager and, and beyond that so um, I had been doing small projects at at, at home um, but I sort of found that as my daughters went through high school that you know whenever they started talking about a science project that's where I was like wow okay <laughs> how can I help <laughs> and so um, we just started doing more and more elaborate um, you know science projects together with and and you know it was a great sort of father daughter um time and um really telling them you know um you know girls can do this stuff absolutely you know go get them and um 
you know, we just had such a fun time. And, um, you know, we were doing that uh, laser beam experiment, you know, uh, slitting it through a, through, through a hair a hair on the head and getting the sort of the wave particle duality thing. Yeah. And then, um, we've done all kinds of crazy stuff. And then I think that's kind of what had brought my daughter's confidence up to the point where she could say, let's do a, a particle accelerator. Mm-hmm. And by that stage, I was like fully have to go yeah let's do it that's fantastic uh it looks like this isn't the first thing that you've brought out or at least simultaneously there's this um it's a plug-in for laser engraters and laser cutters can you tell me about that yeah yeah okay so um as i've been developing the uh particle accelerator um you know i had to 3d print the mechanical Mm -hmm. parts and um you know i just thought to myself oh look I'll, i'll go through one of those um websites 3d hubs and mm. use you know some local person's 3d printer and so i met a guy yeah. just down the street from me uh called paul and um you know i'd always be sending him jobs and he'd be printing them out and was doing a great job and uh, you know we just got talking and found we had so much in common and um you know he, he he'd sort of discovered that there was this gap with laser controllers um particularly um the very popular k40 uh laser cutter that's all over ebay and so forth there's a lot of them out there in the community because the idea of laser cutting and etching is so fantastic Uh, but he was really disappointed with with the result that he got from it and um you know he he just thought how can i fix this and he's developed his own electronics and made it so that it's uh um accepts an open source um tool chain basically the user can pick any tool chain they want and um yeah that's right so he's done a great job and um you know, I was catching up with him and saying, oh, look, I'm thinking of going to the Maker Fair all the way in, you know, um, San Francisco. Mm-hmm. And I just sort of nudged him a bit and said, come on, yeah, come along too. And, you know, there, there it was. Suddenly we were um, partners in um, awesome.tech. And, um, uh, yes, yeah, it turned out to be a really great uh, partnership so far because we, you know, um, uh, teach each other, we learn from each other. And um, it's it's honestly such a big deal to travel internationally and present at a huge maker yeah. fair. so uh, you know we were kind of uh, uh g'ing each other up just to kind of go through with it <laughs> well i'm glad that you made it because that's where we met and it's awesome uh and thank you so much for yeah, joining you. me today for those watching uh you can keep in touch and hear about when the kickstarter launches via awesome.tech slash sign up is that correct that's right awesome uh, thank you we'll keep an eye out have a great one Okay, thanks, Alex. Bye. Bye.